Don Don and Jesser. As I look at both of you together, only one word comes to my mind. Destiny. Destiny. Even before God created the sun, the moon, and the stars, even before God created the first man and woman, even before God created the mountains and the hills and the seas, even before you were conceived in your mother's wombs, God already knew that on the 31st of May, 2019, you, Dondon, and Jesser will be ordained deacons together. It is destiny. Jesser, when you entered the seminary years ago in Bin Mali, he did not know that there would be a theology seminary here in San Fabian. He did not know that God planned you to go to Bagak, to San Jose, Batangas, and back here. What a journey it has been. Don Don, you did not dream, neither did we, that you would come to Pangasinan in order to offer your life to the Lord and to the church. But you are both here. It is destiny. It is God's plan. It is destiny, it's God's plan, that as you were looking for God in Philem life, working for the insurance of people, you came to understand that God's plan for you was to ensure everlasting life for God's people. God's plan. Guhit ng palad, tadhana. Jesser, it is God's plan that even if you were part of the pioneer class of this theology seminary, it is God's plan that you would not be part of the first batch of ordinations with Toph and Jake. It is God's plan that you will be, you'll be ordained today, not tomorrow, not next year, not last year, but today. It is destiny. How did it all happen? I don't know. How did God put you together? I don't know. I only believe that you would not be deacons if God did not allow it. And if God will not will it, you would not be where you are right now. But Don Don and Jesser, destiny is not just an event. After lunch, you would be deacons. But destiny is not just about a day in our lives. Destiny is not just about a day in the calendar. Destiny is also design. And what is the design of God for you? Diakonia. You are called to be deacons. You are called to be servants. If in God's plan, you proceed to the priesthood, do not forget that the diaconate is not erased. The diaconate is not left behind when you remove the dalmatic and put on a chasuble. As we are priests forever, you, Dondon and Jesser, are deacons forever because a bishop is a deacon forever and a priest is a deacon forever. When you forget that you are a deacon when you become priests, then you would fall into the disease of clerical entitlement. That you would start to think of your ordination no longer as a mission to serve, but as a privilege to get richer. The diaconate is forever. 
and the path to forever is by service. If you want to enter into forever, serve. Because there is no life everlasting for those who do not like to serve. Serviam, I will serve, the angels declared. Non serviam, I will not serve, Satan declared. There is no life everlasting for Satan. There is only everlasting death. You want to live forever? You want to, you want to understand everlasting life? Do not forget, you are deacons forever. Your duty, your mission, your life is to serve. You will serve at Mass by offering us the word of life. You will serve at Mass by giving us the body and blood of the Lord. But more than the liturgical service, you must be servants outside the church, feeding the hungry, consoling the confused, giving drink to the thirsty, teaching the ignorant. Your duty, your mission is to serve. And that is why you are ordained deacons. When the priests baptized you many years ago, your heads were anointed with chrism and you were anointed for servanthood. This morning, you, were not, you are not only set aside for servanthood, you are now ordained forever to be servants. And never, never forget it, that the road to forever is a life of service. And how shall we see, and how shall we know, how shall we taste that you are serving us according to the example of Jesus? Your service, your diaconate, should lead us to the third D, which is divinity. You have heard it from the fathers of the church. God became human so that the human can be divine. God touched humanity so that humanity can assume divinity. Don Don and Jesser, show us the face of the divine. And when you preach, when you serve, when you bless, Give us a glimpse, give us a taste of what it is to be divine. We want to see God. We are looking for God. Do not disappoint us. When we see you, show us the face of God. And we will not ask for anything more. We do not ask you to be good entertainers. We do not ask you to be good fundraisers. We do not ask you to be eloquent speakers. We only ask you, show us the face of God, and that will be enough for us. There you are, Don Don and Jesser. This event is destiny. It is not your planning. It is not my decision. It is God's planning. The destiny for you is not just May 31st, 2019. Destiny for you is a life of service forever. Even in heaven, you must continue serving God in the church. And let your service lead us to the divine. Let your service show us the face of God. Let your diaconate show us how beautiful God is, how merciful is the Lord. Indeed, how sweet it is to be loved by God. Don Don, Jesser, your diaconate is a mystery. We don't know why you are together. We don't know why. We only know that God loves the church 
and in his love for the church, he has called you both. We look forward to a fruitful life of service. We look forward to a life that is full of joy. We look forward to a life where every moment, every breath that you take will give us a glimpse of the beauty of our loving God. Don Don and Jesser, rise up in the Lord, serve the church well, serve the Lord with joy.